Welcome to the holy city of Jerusalem. This is a beautiful outlook we have. And we've come from the heights of Tiberia. We came down and then we went up on that beautiful trek up into the holy city. That is why Jerusalem is considered to be one of the highest points in Israel. It isn't, but they say if you come to Jerusalem, you're always moving up. Now, if you remember, we spoke about Abraham, Abraham Avinu. And Abraham was told to lech lecha, to go for himself. And there was a question we had, what do you mean go for yourself? So the rabbis, the deeper rabbis, interpret to mean go to yourself. Where you go, this journey, when he had to leave his home, he came from what was then uh, Iraq of his day, the Haran. He left there and was told to come to Israel. Where exactly he was told to go, it was to this place, Jerusalem, to Yerushalayim, and that area over there, Har Habayit, where the future temple was to be built, was where Abraham was told to go. So we see from very early on in Jewish history, there is a connection between finding oneself, whatever that means, or looking to journey and coming here. This is the place people come to. Just one other interesting idea connects to this. We're told that Abraham woke up very early in order to bring his son, Isaac, to that location to bring him as a sacrifice. Now, first of all, you should know that Judaism were not into sacrificing people. That was never the Jewish way. So what was that about? So one of the deeper rabbis says he was told to do it, to sacrifice his child. And once he was there, he was told by an angel of God not to do it. As if to say that this is not what we do. Because Abraham spent his whole life telling people not to kill their children for God. So that's what he did. He was told to bring his child up there, Mount Moriah. And he stood and said, this we don't do. And though he was willing to, he did not sacrifice his son Isaac. We also see that there's a connection between Jerusalem and sacrifice. There are challenges that come with being here. And when he did that mitzvah, he woke up by Yashkem Avram Baboker. He woke up very early in order to do it. So there's many commentaries on that one verse. He woke up early. So one commentator says it shows us the alacrity, the alacrity, the uh, enthusiasm he had to do this very difficult mitzvah of being willing to sacrifice his own son. Another commentator says no. The fact that he woke up means that he went to sleep. What does that mean? Of course he went to sleep. He woke up in the morning. But even though he was with tremendous difficulty and challenge of doing this mitzvah, he was still able to get a good night's sleep the night before. To be in a state of absolute tranquility and serenity in the midst of this very, very difficult demand. We, the Jewish people, are in the hot spot of life around the world. All eyes over the entire Middle East and the world always focus on Jerusalem. But let me tell you very clearly, we, the Jewish people, are not war mongers. Never have been. We have the world in army, we always have, out of defense. But we don't want to die for God, we want to live for God. And that is what Abraham, Abraham was told when he brought his son up onto Mount Moriah, onto the future site of the temple we're going visiting this evening. We, the Jewish people, don't look at other nations that want to kill themselves, want to suicide themselves to get close to God. That's easy. Anyone can strap on a bomb and blow themselves up for a higher cause. What's difficult is living for God. And that is the lesson that Abraham brought us, and that is the lesson that God told Abraham to bring to this city, onto that mountain, that is the ultimate place of peace, of Shalom. And that is the connection between Shalom and Yerushalayim. They are connected. It has the word Yeru, we're going to talk about that tonight, and Shalem. Shalem means whole, complete, together. That is what peace is. Peace is when we come and we put our lives together. We put our communities together. That is peaceful. And that's what we're going for. God willing, the week we get to spend here, we have time of Shalem for all of us. We'll all hopefully find a part of us that will feel complete and unified through this experience. Even, have to, even if we have to be a Yeshka Baboker, wake up early in the morning in order to achieve it.
Okay. Thank you. Two more minutes.